Hey guys, welcome back to today's episode of Joffo Plays. We are still playing the search party mission from the new Forbidden Fortress of Shadows of Brimstone. Uh, on our previous mission, we found a, por a clue that led us to a portal that led us to the all alien world of the Belly of the Beast. Uh, unfortunately, it's filled with lots of passageways, filled with um, spongy floors and mucusy membranes. Uh, we haven't gotten very far in the in this. That's and happens. we are ready with Holding Back the Darkness. It's like that's what happens when we're in a slippery room. All right. We got an eight. We're good. So we got two there. And where are my other cards? I'm looking for my other map cards. I don't know what I did with the hand. But we okay. had we're at four. one. We are, because we had a mid-passage, that's right. We had four. So making sure I'm up to date on those. Sorry, guys. Uh, eight is a good pass, so we get speed. Speed is three. And I do have a wound, so I do get to heal it. Bam, heal that. One, two, well, one, two, three. I think I'm going to go this way. Speed of five. Two. Four, five, four. I'll put you on to the next... I did not scavenge, so you may. Nope. I got a total of six. Mm-hmm. Hold back the darkness. The eight is okay. The speed of three is okay. We're going to go forward one. And we're going to find another passageway. Short this time. They are trying to get us lost. Yep. There we go. Short passage. Beginning to think I should just start cracking doors. Uh, passage encounter. The floor here is submerged in thick, needy bile, trudging through yeah. the caustic liquid, liquid cause... Uh, caustic liquid, your legs tingle and burn as the bile attempts to slowly dissolve you. Each hero that ends their move on this map tile takes one wound, ignoring defense. This map tile may be scavenged two extra times, and when successfully scavenged, draw an additional scavenge card. Woo! As we have now entered a bile duct. It's disgusting um, in here, but I, do I don't take a wound. I get a six plus armor save. So I do take that wound. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave this area because screw this. Not gonna Burning. Scavenge. I can't die open oh, the door. Oh, right. Did you get your five experience? I will in a minute. Okay. My turn? Yes. Six. I'll go there. All right. Going to open or no? Yeah. It is yet another passageway. This time it is a mid passage. Hey, look, some of these parts are. We are now in the eight plus requirement. And. <laughs> you found the tightening sphincter. This passage is a massive sphincter regulating the flow of material that can pass through it by tightening down to block the path or crush anything within. At the end of each turn, if there's at least one model on this map tile, place a marker here, and then every model on this map tile takes one hit for each marker here. Each of these hits does D6 plus X damage, where X is equal to the hero's party level. Affected heroes take a strength 6 plus test, ignoring one of these hits on them for each 6 plus rolled. If there is no models on this map tile at the end of the turn, instead remove a marker from here. While there are three or more markers here, models not already on this map tile may not move onto the tile. That's a lot. Yeah, it, it is quite literally a very large paragraph of information. I'll just use that. So, at the end of every turn, if there's at least one model here, place a marker here. Then every model on this map tile takes one hit. For each map tile, or for each marker here. I'm good. Um, it does not say that it ignores defense, so you're good. 
which is good because it does d6 plus 3 damage. We're not going this way either. <sighs> nope. Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is a different... You don't get to take a damage or defense roll from this. Uh, affected heroes may take a sec strength 6 plus test. Oh. To ignoring one of the hits on them for each of the 6 pluses rolled. Nope. So you will take... This you can use your defense on, or your armor on, but you will take a hit that does 9 damage. A hit? A hit that does 9 damage. No, you you go straight into the armor side. This is, I think, a way that they're roll they're they're changing how you defend. So you would roll. You have what a four plus armor? Yeah. I so you roll three. nine dice. Oh. For your armor. Not your defense. Your armor. So every four plus or everything that's not a four plus, you take a point of damage. Okay. So. I mean, you still are okay to be standing in there. I don't like it in here. Um, it's very shit, we opened this one on this, on this world, didn't we? I have yeah. to look it up, but I think this is no longer in play because we're not in that world. So I will look that up and how those work. Um, we are to the end of the round. We are now an 8 plus. Um... Got a nine, we're good. I guess we'll go to the other door. Speed of six, one, two. I sure as hell don't want to go play with the sphincter. Um, no, we'll just crack a door. Really? A long passage. Really? Apparently there are passages everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. Let's see if we can get a third. Remains in play. No. Thank goodness. This is a breathing vent. The air is thick and hot here, flowing past you in a sticky and rhythmic breeze. With each pulsing breath, the pathway, pathway opens up before you. At the end of the turn, every unexplored exit from this passage is automatically explored. Drawing a map card, moving the hero party marker on the depth track, etc., Note that a face-down exploration token is only revealed at the end of turn if there's at least one hero on this map tile. Oh, jeez. So. Wait, is it the end of the turn? Yes, but I'll go ahead and find that okay. map tile. Did you want to scavenge? I opened the door. Oh, right. Four. One, two, three, four. Well, at least we'll know if there's an actual room over there. <laughs> All right. So, at the end of the turn, there are no there, so we can take uh, that, take that token off. Um, the end of the turn, every unexplored exit from this passage. Oh, that would have been dangerous. We could have had a breathing vent here, and three doors would have opened. We would have been able to see the future. Uh, we have a fleshy chamber has appeared. Oh, hey, look, we got a room. We actually have a room. Ugh. That is creepy looking. Uh, we do get an exploration token there. We are not there to open it, so we don't reveal it. However, that pushes that open even further. One, two, three, four, five, six. God damn. And what? We found one? We found one clue token. Okay. Oh, this, this dude's dead. This dude is so fucking dead. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know the person that we're going to save? Nope. Even if I did? Nope. Don't know him. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Never heard of him. Don't know who the hell he is. All right. Uh, look at that. There we go. Oh, that's what I'm going to quick look up. I'm going to make a rules, uh, look up a rules question. I'll be right back. All right, I figured out my question. I don't know. I must have read something somewhere that I thought it said that you, uh, if you're not in the same world as where a darkness card comes up, you don't have to uh, be affected by it. Uh, that's wrong. You have to be affected by it. Life sucks and you got to deal with it. Um, so, we start of the turn. Darkness, hold back the darkness. Eight plus. That is double threes. You technically succeeded. Dunk, dunk. 
That gives us large sized enemies do plus one damage. Womp womp. <coughs> Speed of five. Heal. Am I wounded? I am wounded. Yeah. I wounded for one. I heal one. Hey, look, I'd be able to look at the door. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna pull these off because I think you're coming this way. We'll just stick these together over here somewhere. Hey, look, I get to spin that right away because I can't recover from my break. I get to move six. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. Flip over the exploration token. Uh, one door, clue, encounter times two. We at least found a second clue token. Well, yeah. We know what we're doing! Alright, we got what? Encounter times two? Yep. Alright, let's push this into the main area. So we get a total. There it is. Okay, thick bundles of wiry nerve fibers stretch across the room in all directions, charged with electrical impulses firing throughout the, <clears throat> throughout the massive beast. Each hero must choose to either cut your way through with strength or dodge your way through with agility. I strength. It's one die better. Strength it is. I do strength. Um, we both have to pass this one on the strength test. Oh, or you can dodge. You get a little bit more experience and you get to move D6 speed. And what is it for that? Six plus? A six plus agility, but I only have two dice. Uh, if we do, st if we cut our way through, we have to, uh, we both have to succeed. Stop throwing dice on the ground. I got my five plus. Yep. All right. Okay. We both I gain ten. Right. And you may recover a grit or ability ability token. So I gain one. Mm-hmm. And I'll take a grit. How much experience you took? 10 XP. Up to 380. All right. The massive sphincter opens up in the floor before you, and you tumble down onto the quivering op into the quivering opening, caught in its crushing grip. No, that was before. That was a tunnel I didn't go down. Nope. We found another sphincter. You did! Oh, God. Make a strength 5 plus test. Well, luckily I'm strengthy. You are. Am I allowed to use grit? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just know some of them say you may not use mm -hmm. grit on this test. Stop wherever your dice are because it matters. Gain 15 experience as you pull yourself free if you succeed. For each six you roll, I rolled a six. You also pull something out of the sphincter. D six times fifty nuggets of gold. <laughs> of poop. One hundred and fifty gold of, of butt poop. Butt nuggets. Did I just find a whole bunch of Korok seeds? Mm-hmm. That's it. I will hold back the darkness failingly, adding a growing dread to our stack. <clears throat> I will move. Speed of five. By the way, guys, we have do have our second clue token, so we are in the right area. This guy's here. Um, and 
I will scavenge. Poking around in the creepy body, you see something that chills me. It's a creepy body. You quickly return to the group, taking ten experience. <laughs> Like, you know, and three horror hits. Since we're going against the Sorcerer's Apprentice, right? instead of just using a token, we can actually put his body out. Who, this guy? Yeah. When we find him. She wants to put that guy out as a dead dude. Or near dead dude. What? We're finding a mage. So I saved one, take two, so I take. Hey, look! Four blue damage! Told you this is why I had to save my blue damage before. Your turn. But this is scavenged. Four. Speed of four. One, two, three, four. My turn's done. Pull back the darkness does not. I'm really good at this job. You should maybe be the lantern bearer. Um Speed. That is a cocked eye if I've ever seen one. Speed of two. Open the door to find a T junction passage. <laughs> this one will affect you. A wet and corrosive fog hangs in the air here, burning and sizzling on your clothes and skin. While on the same or passage, same or adjacent map tiles as this passage, you may not use armor or spirit armor. Oh, Our defense just got shit. dropped by one point, essentially. Oh, shit. Um, I need to five for. Feet. I'm down to two hundred and fifty needed. I'm getting rich. Uh, did you move the death trapping? Yep. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, can't find this guy. He's in here somewhere. <laughs> now it's all foggy. Yep, corrosively foggy. Speed of five. Scavenge. Sounds good, scavenge away. No, you're not. Really I will hold back the darkness, though. No, I won't. <laughs> I mean, I will create another darkness card. Oh, damn. There's two of those in the deck. The witch. Overpowered. Oh, shite. Large monsters now do plus four damage. I didn't realize there's blue text. If the hero party level is three or four, they're plus two. So they do plus four damage. Alrighty, then. Your turn. Grit, which I'm going to immediately spend for plus four, four for five, five speed. I will go this way. And then I will go another passage. And it will curve back this way. Hey, look, and now we run into problems. Yep. Hold on. It will... Nope. nope. I'm sorry. It'll curve it out. Oh, thank goodness. Now we won't have problems. So we have corrosive fog there. We're going to get through this entire uh, passage encounter deck. Uh-oh! The passage is lined with razor-sharp teeth it, in rings of chitinous bone, inset into the walls. The teeth grind against one another as the bony jaws ring, bony jaw rings spin in their mucus-filled grooves. At the end of each turn, any hero on this passage takes d6 hits, because we're not level 5 or higher. No, thank you. Oh, apprentice, where are you? Bill, where'd you go? All right. 
your turn. Oh, I go to my card. Four. Three. One. Two. Three. Four. Hold on. All right. You gonna scavenge? Yeah. Might as well. Uh, yep, I got one. You find nothing of interest. Of course. Because they're just gross teeth. Ten experience. So I am at 405. Take D6 hits. I take five. I take six. Each of these does do one damage, and you cannot use your armor to defend it. Wow. My uh, five plus armor save. Saved three of them. Yeah, I saved. Three of them as well. So I take two wounds. Unfortunately, I'm going to take this damage a second time, though. Uh, hold back the darkness. Nine. I do save. Yay! Um, hold on. I need to check cards here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So I'm still in the eight. Well, the nine would save regardless, but it makes a difference. Um, speed of six. Heal of two. Or three, actually. Ha-ha! Found a room! We found the neural pool. Let's see if we can find that real quick, and we do. Is there a specific encounter for Brain it? Coral. Brain Coral. There's Brain Coral. Oh, there it is. That was very weird. That also puts us in now a 9 plus is required. Please, oh please, I don't think we can afford to have any more. <coughs> That's what I get. Your speed. Speed of five. You go stand on the brain. All right. I don't want to stand in the water. The water looks There scary. are two doors, and it's an ambush attack. So the first things first, we take brain coral. The floor of this chamber is hardened, is hardened, twisting and spiraling in a weaving pattern that you can't help but utterly find utterly mesmerizing. As you stare on, you hear your own mind begin to scream in agony as the coral floor feeds on your sanity, oh. threatening to drown you in a bottomless black sea of wonder and pain. That's creepy. Each hero must roll a number of dice equal to their cunning. Okay. Uh, my cunning is two. For each one, two, or three, you will take two sanity damage, ignoring willpower as your mind is assaulted by the back psychic backlash of the malevolent brain coral. I will take four. I will take six. You'll take how much? Six? Yeah. I'm at eight. I'm going insane. And then we get an ambush attack. Oh, crap. Six out of four. We need the Devoured Dead card. No! So, swap that for that. We get D3 plus one Devoured Dead. So, of course, we get four Devoured Dead. No, I did not just pull that out. I pulled and this one out. And they would start an ambush, so two would go here. At least they aren't large. And two would go here. So go ahead and give them an elite ability. I don't want to. I don't like these ones. Six. They have the art of war. They are now melee to hit a four plus instead of five plus. Ah, uh, um, there are worse ones. They are going to go this first round at initiative four. So that's that. Six. <laughs> Okay, we end the turn. I do take D6 of hits. I take five of them. Again, the teeth are really hungry for sorceress meat. 
I take two of them. So that, okay. That's not bad. Yeah, we're okay there. Your defense has been working. I'm almost considering fucking flaming right here and just hitting everything and everyone. Including you. Mm -hmm. Um, they Okay, so Devoured Dead are Dishonored Dead with the following bonuses or penalties. Black Hunger gain plus one combat for every two Darkstone, including a Darkstone icon items that the target currently has. So are they getting a bonus on you? Yep. They're not getting. They're not getting a bonus on me. Oh, uh, one. Oh wait, no. Hold on. I gotta go find that card because that might actually be a two dark stone item on me. Void Heart is a two dark. I suppose they took six shards and made it a two dark stone item. So I guess it's only fair. It's only fair. Um, but da, da, da. okay, so they're gonna get a plus one. Um, however, their corroded armor reduces their armor to six plus instead of a five plus. Yeah, that's a little better. So the first things first. Not much though. Hold back the darkness. I got it with a ten. I need to not be where I am. Shit, shit. Because I am very much punished. Because I'm on this map tile, which is still adjacent to this map tile. I have corrosive fog and grinding teeth affecting me. Mm -hmm. I might need to take a escape by plus test. Shit. Well, okay. They have four combat dice. That's eight combat dice against you. Oh shit, but they're gonna get plus two, so I need two additional attacks. Every four plus is a hit against you. Oh, can you get up to three? Hmm? Theory, right? There are two guys that are only attacking you. Two. These two are targeting you, these two are targeting oh. me. Okay, so I can get up to two. Alright, miss, 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 miss. Miss, miss, miss. Miss. No bonus from sixes. So two hits. That's it. Two hits. Each of these does three damage. Okay. So the first one succeeds. The second one fails. Nice. And you are not adjacent to the corrosive fog anymore, so you do get your armor. Four? Four damage. Or three damage each. Oh, three damage. Derek be successful. It gains me fury. Sweet. I need nine damage or yeah, uh, ten dice rolled against me. So there's two right there. This is gonna suck because you're gonna roll all hits. So one, two, three, four, five. I only got half. That's not bad. I, however, I saved four of those, and I don't get to use my defense or my armor, so I take three damage. Okay, you can heal it, you're fine. Yeah. I don't have enough. Time. All right, start of the turn I'll be for able me. To heal myself right now. I gain a grit, and I will keep my grit. I will heal one. I will free action a strong sake. Six damage is healed. Do I want to spend a five plus to move? I think so. At least try. Yeah, I failed to move. does ignore armor though so it wouldn't make okay yeah I'm gonna spend three mana to roll a five plus to dragon fire got a six we're good um, Burped. 
time. I am going to try and hit everybody. This will hit everybody. Unfortunately, you're everybody. It ignores armor. So it is one hit, so you can make an armor save to it, or a defense save to it. So I'll get you out of the way right away. If you fail, you take six damage. You seed. You succeed. Yep, um, barely. So we'll start here. Uh, he takes three damage and dies. Uh, and becomes, we need corpse pile tokens. Do you got those? I do. Because when killed, they become a corpse pile. <clears throat> so while you're looking for those... There's one there, here, nothing, and here, uh, four, he takes one wound. I do gain 35 experience from that. <clears throat> I did kill a dude. Yeah, we'll just keep him there because I'm sure he's coming back to say hi. <sighs> All right, your turn. Oh, I do. Hold on. Let me quick interrupt your die rolling there. Uh, I am adjacent to two, so I have to take a two horror hits. Uh, I take one. That would have put me at six, seven, eight, nine. A nine of 14, so I'm good. So that is important. Uh, you will need to take that as well. Okay. So, yeah, I'll do it after. Yep. So those are all hits. Yeah. Uh, make two horror hits because you're still adjacent to two guys. Uh, you'll also take one. one. Are these guys myth? No, they're actually these are actually great to have here. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna start with the crit on this dude. Okay. Dead. Technically. Need a corpse token. Oh, there's a corpse token. Um. This guy might die minus four unless you have something special against them. No. So miss. Okay, what have I got? Two, which I'm gonna use to take. Take a head. Uh, miss as well. Do you have any grit that you could use? You could re-roll that one. Yeah. Still no. a miss. All right. No, I can't re-roll that one. Okay, that's the end of the round, and that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you guys for coming and checking us out. I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. Uh, if you are not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We do release content nearly every day. Uh, lots of board game playthroughs of both Shadows of, the, Shadows of Brimstone, Heroes of the Old West, as well as the new Forbidden Fortress. We are currently playing Warhammer Quest Silver Tower on one of our other days. Um, and soon to come back... Uh, will be Warhammer, or not Warhammer, um, Massive, Darkness. Massive Darkness, the new the Crystal and Lava expansion, uh, as we play through that. Um, if you like what you see, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, criticisms, throw them in the comments down below. I do read everybody's comments, even if I don't respond to them. I do take time and read everybody's comments that post in there. So I do thank you guys for that. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.